Hey guys, the number one most asked question in all of my kayak fishing videos is what is the make and model of my safety knife? And I wanted to take a moment to talk with you why I always have a safety knife on me while I'm kayak fishing and why I think you should too. Now in my over decade of uh, kayak fishing experience, I've only had one near drowning experience. And that was several years ago on the Columbia River. I had I was trolling for spring chinook salmon. I had my rod in a rod holder. It had 50 pound braid as my main line. I had the drag relatively tight. And I was going downstream at a pretty good clip because it was spring flood runoff. Um, I also had a rod leash attached to that rod. And what happened is with the rod and the rod holder, um, I had it extended up. Uh, it hung up on an underwater wing dam, probably at the braid. And when that did, it turned the kayak, and with the current, the current just poured in and flipped the kayak. And during that process, the rod leash wrapped around my neck. So I had the 50-pound braid anchored to the wing dam, and then uh, the rod leash attached to the kayak. I was sort of strung up in between those two, and looking up, I could see the kayak, but I couldn't quite reach the surface. And I had that sort of microsecond thought, that, like, this, this is it for me. And then I remembered that I had a safety knife. I pulled my safety knife and I cut upwards along my uh, PFD catching that the rod leash and cut it, freeing it, and I was able to float to the surface. Um, yeah, so if I hadn't had that, I'm absolutely positive I wouldn't be out here fishing today. Which is why I think everybody who kayak fishes should carry a safety knife on their body. And there's just a lot of risks, um, whether you're in moving water, or whether you're on the ocean, or um, on lakes. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can become entangled in when you're out fishing. Uh, we're using heavy duty fishing line now. I mean, a lot of us are using uh, heavier braids when we're out fishing for bass or even um, other species uh, like salmon. And you just cannot break that stuff. I mean, once it gets above 20 or 30 pound braid, you really can't break it with your hands um, or your body. It just cuts into your skin. Heavier monofilaments, anchor ropes, anchor trolley systems. There's just a ton of stuff that you can become entangled in, plus whatever debris that's been left out in our rivers and lakes. So I highly recommend investing in a safety knife and having it on your body at all times when kayak fishing. This is the NRS Pilot. I really like this knife. It's extremely sharp. It has a great uh, system that attaches to your PFD. It's very simple and easy to release. You just pull these two, or push these two buttons right here. It pops free. Um, I encourage you, once you do get a safety knife, to just keep, just practice doing that a few times so it becomes muscle memory because in a moment of panic, like I had, um, you might not be thinking as clearly. And I know that I practiced all the time taking my knife out of its sheath when I was bored, and that way I knew instantly where to reach for it and grab it and was able to cut that line. This, this one, the Pilot, has a three inch blade. They make a Co-Pilot, which is slightly smaller if you feel like you don't want something so bulky on your uh, life vest or on your body. Um, and that one has a two and a quarter inch blade. I'll put links to both of those knives below. Um, and I really highly recommend investing in one of those uh, two knives and having them on your PFD. Uh, if, I guess the main thing, if you're gonna look at other brands that you should look for is look for a blunt nose because you don't want something that can poke yourself. Um, I'll show you that on the PFD that I kept from that incident, the knife, uh, it's sliced all the way down deep into the foam here. Um, you can actually see that. It shows you how sharp these knives are. They are dangerous. Um, you can cut yourself in the moment of panic, so you need to be aware of the blade. Um, so, but the nice thing about having that blunt tip is it's, you're less likely to catch yourself um, if you're trying to cut away at something you're not gonna cut away and cut your own skin. So look for that blunt nose. Um, 
Other things to consider is if you're fishing in salt water, you might want to invest in the titanium ones. Um, I use, I fish in salt water um, only a half dozen times at most per year, and uh, I've always just been able to rinse the stainless steel one, and it's been just fine. Do not use your safety knife for anything other than self-rescue, or you can use the bottle opener, but keep that blade sharp. It's not, don't use it for cutting bait or cutting your fishing line and stuff like that. It's purely, it needs to be sharp in the best condition so that when, if you ever need it, and hopefully you don't, um, you'll be able to use it and get yourself out of any situation. All right, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, be safe, and I'll see you out on the water and catch lots of fish.